Hello my friends, it's episode 112. Uh, and if you've watched this far, then um, you must really like Battletech Advanced. <laughs> or me. Maybe it's me. But um, I'm going to bring this campaign to a conclusion now. And the last mission really... It really cemented my decision, so let's let's play another mission and I'm going to talk about it. Um, I guess before I do that I should let my pilots recover and my mechs heal. So... Oh yeah! Or at least I'll let my mechs recover and one pilot. Darius can sit out. I can replace him with anybody, really. Um, as much as I like Battletech Advanced, my main issue with it is... That ev the evasion meta. Evasion is way too strong. Way, way, way too strong. It's comically strong. And when I, after I played the last mission, I was just thinking to myself... Uh, you know, it's, it's messed up when you... You fear three packs of elementals more than you do 15 clan assaults. Or clan heavies. It was a mixture of assaults and heavies. But anyway. It was almost entirely heavy metal. There was... Uh, very little in the way of... Um, um, light stuff. Or mediums. And... Because of that, because of evasion being so mutantly powerful, the entire mech versus mech game just takes a complete backseat to things that ignore evasion. The only real threats in the game are things that ignore evasion. Because the AI will always, you know, make a mistake and position itself in such a way that it has little to no evasion. It doesn't know how to stack evasion. But if you give it a mech with stacked evasion and stealth armor and all the rest of it. It's still going to, you know, it's still going to from at times to time. It's going to make a mistake and stand still and be vulnerable. <clears throat> so. Having such a strong evasion meta. Just completely. It mi so your guns are going to work on the enemy because. The AI makes mistakes, but the AI's guns and everything affected by evasion is never going to work on you because you're not going to make a mistake, or you're not going to make an unforced error, typically, unless you're being lazy. You're, you know, you are more than capable of sprinting your mechs every turn such that they have full or nearly full evasion tokens. You're not just going to accidentally stand your mech still in the middle of the enemy, or at least I hope not. So, this creates a situation where the only threats are threats that ignore evasion. And that, those threats are going to be things like battle armor and artillery and melee. Or, uh, or charges or DFA which use their own calculations which I don't know how much evasion affects those but it's a different calculation simply stacking evasion doesn't necessarily help you avoid melee hits and I feel like the game is much much less for it. I, I, 
If I was facing off against 15 assaults in the base game, I would be afraid. I would absolutely be afraid. Or, you know, a mixed lance of assaults and heavies. Because even if I was using four lights, 15, me 15 mechs, 15 mechs could so easily sensor lock and slash or evasion strip my lights that they might potentially get one depending on how the situation unfolds and how much space there is for me to maneuver and how I can put one in front of the other and so on and try and pick them off to whittle down their numbers. The point is, is that four lights in the base game, if they ran into 15 assaults without a plan, no matter how good you are or how many evasion tokens you get, even if they've all got like nine evasion tokens, which is an insane amount for the base game, odds are that one of them is going to get stripped and potentially killed. And once you start losing lights, you are going to start losing the rest fast. There's just, there's just no way in the base game that 15 mechs, you know, at that tonnage level does not inspire fear in any lands. Once again, depending on the circumstances. And a four lights player in that situation against all those assaults is going to have to play very well to avoid losses. You're going to have to play very skillfully. You're going to have to think about every move. Because, you know, even with the silly one, one laser thing that the AI does. Well, when he's got 15 mechs, the one laser thing can very quickly get rid of eight evasion tokens. And then they've still got loads of mechs left to alpha strike you with. But in this, you can just you can just YOLO a light into 15 clan assaults. And, uh, you know, if like with the Raven, you've got like nine evasion tokens and stealth armor and a defense gyro and all the rest of it, they're just not going to touch you. And there's no strategy to it. You just run in. It's funny because once I was... Uh, I saw a post where uh, LA, the leader of Rogue Tech, was insulting people, as she always does, when she said that she hated the stupid strategy where people just ran at the enemy and won. But in the base game, that was never the strategy. It was people who did that thinking that that was the strategy got killed, got wrecked. It was way more complicated than that. It was about positioning yourself just outside of melee ranges, but close enough so that you could move in and backstrike. It was about maintaining your evasion tokens at various levels and then reserving. And then as those tokens get stripped, you pull the stripped unit away so that other units start getting stripped instead. And basically manipulating the battle until you had the opportunity to dive in, get a kill or two, and then re-establish your defense on the next turn and repeat the process. There was, there's a whole, and you know, I've done training videos on it. There's a whole complicated, complicated strategy. It was never just run in and, and win and kill people. But I feel like in this, and I know that RT has got not dissimilar gameplay in this, there, it really is just run in and kill them. It really is just that. You really can just YOLO your mechs headfirst into the enemy and generate a billion invasion tokens and then rumble them to death. And poor assaults and heavies have just got no hope. Because what are there tons of weapons if those weapons don't hit? And what is their thick armor if they can't evade any damage? They still die, it just takes a bit longer. And so you're left with... You're left with a battle armor that is clearly 
designed to. Uh, it's designed in the same mindset as. Well, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to talk about you know, potential mind mindset of bloody doves. He's a nice bloke, and I don't want to say anything negative here, um, about him. He's put tons of effort into this, which I very much respect. But. Battle armor to me is in the same category as nuclear artillery and those suicide mechs that were in early versions of RT that just ran up to you and blew up and killed one of your mechs. The kind of, you know, semi uncounterable suicide strategy mechs where they just run in expecting to die horribly. But their powerful evasion ignoring weapon does massive damage to you. And there's so little or almost nothing you can do to prevent it. And it, you know, battle armor is in that category for me. There's, there's so little that you can do to stop them. <clears throat> if they want to just run at you and dump them in your face, they can. And I did the same thing as a test. And it works. You just... What, what can the enemy even do about it? You just run at them and stick the battle armor in their face and do, you know, basically unblockable damage to potentially their rear. But, you know, full damage, no mitigation, no evasion, straight through their armor sections. Straight through one particular section. <clears throat> so you also get them... You get... Um, situation where they sort of function like uh, like an AC-20 on steroids because all the damage focuses through a specific point I just look at this situation. The enemy has the high ground, I have the low ground. What would what would assaults do here? They wouldn't be able to get off the low ground in time to save themselves. Oops. Oh well, whatever, it's the battle armor, I don't care. You're not going to just sit there and sit still in the middle of a fight, are you? <laughs> Oops. That's fine. I can just mount them at the start of the next turn. I'm trying to find something that can... See, I've got the same situation. He's got six evasion. Now I'm trying to figure out some way to bypass this guy's evasion. Ironically, the super overpowered vehicle looks like the best opportunity. Maybe I can break his leg. And you know, while I'm killing this guy, all I'm thinking about is, what do I do about these battle armors? What do I do about these battle armors? When they just run in and dump them in my face, what do I do about them? Break a leg. <clears throat> and this guy didn't have evasion stacking. You know, if he had proper evasion stacking, I wouldn't have even be able to touch him. Except to try and get closer for a... Uh, for a melee kill.
Got him. Now, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but when I play Battletech, I'm playing it for big stompy robots. So, a game where the main threat is is battle armor and the big stompy robots are literally the least threatening thing in the game. That's not really... That's not really what I came here for. Four evasion. Seven evasion. See, I mean, even with four evasion, it's just a complete fiasco. Might as well, because I've got plenty of ammo. <clears throat> i got to rush up here as soon as possible. It's not a good shot, so... Oh, I did hit him! I gotta run up this hill as fast as possible. So I can get control of the situation. I will finish... I will finish this mission. If, uh... This fight is obviously gonna drag on, so I will, um... I will finish this mission before I finish the campaign, but I feel like the spirit of Battletech has been lost. Now, I understand that there is now a BTA light which has removed battle armor, but I mean, while I think that's a step in the right direction for sure, because, you know, sometimes you add something to a game and it turns out to not be good for the game. It's often very hard for people to go back on something that they've added to uh, basically to admit that they made a mistake and that some feature that they added that is a big feature and took lots of effort actually diminishes the game and makes it less fun to play. Um, and I wonder if Battletech Advanced Light is a is a compromise <clears throat> of sort of realizing that a lot of people think that battle armor sucks, but then not wanting to take it out of the main game. But that, to me, that is, battle armor is just a symptom of the main issue. The main issue is, is that evasion is way too strong. I mean, battle armor can only be shoved into your face by uh, these guys. Because evasion is so powerful that you can't stop them from closing in. You can't just focus them down and kill them as they do their suicide charge into your lance. Because they'll be running like six or seven evasion and that makes it all basically impossible to close the gap. The battle armor will always be able to unhook itself from its carrier and hit you if you try and get rid of the evasion by meleeing the target, which is one of the few things that you can do. It's just going to uh, <clears throat> unhook itself on the next turn and go after you. See, this is the lo look at this longbow; it's taking all this damage. And it's happening because assaults can't get away and they can't evade. And I can't go, I can't peel this way either because there's a guy over there.
Although, ironically, being on the low ground is probably going to lead to him actually dying very easily. Ah, oh, swarm attack failure. I've got some good news. And the, um, the anti-player system, which is called SAD, which is kind of appropriate, that gives the AI cheats, that gives them extra accuracy and other bonuses. But the accuracy bonus is the one that matters. It's because evasion is so potent. The fact that the AI can have a 20% accuracy bonus and still not be able to do any real damage to any of your light or mediums is crazy. I gotta take this high ground as soon as possible. As I have started in such a terrible spot. That guy is running super hot. I could probably load I could load them up onto my Phoenix Hawk if I wanted to save them. They do make for an interesting distraction. Let's see if I can kill this summoner here with that's carrying battle armor by getting behind it. And hopefully send it and its battle armor to uh, the next life. Unfortunately, look, the battle armor is reserving itself so it can dismount as needed. So as soon as I, if I move in to attack it, the next thing that will happen is the battle armor will dismount and attack. Oh, the guy's got seven evasion, so I ain't touching him. That guy is overheating. He's got six evasion. Uh, and some reasonable rear armor. Alright, let's start with this. See if I can cook this guy. Oh, I think all three hit. Oh man, he's going to explode at the start of the next turn. Oh, he kept that. He kept that battle armor on reserve, that's fine. Get up the hill. 50. Take that. All oh, right, he reserved it. Time to punish.
Oh, it looks like the battle armor got off. Although one of them died. <clears throat> Unfortunately, all the weapons are in the arms, so this thing... It's very vulnerable. I guess I'm not going up the hill. these battle armors because they're actually what matters. I mean, these things are actually harder to kill than mechs as well, because there's no way to avoid going through all their hit points. Whereas with mechs, of course, you just go through the rear. You could potentially kill a mech with, like, 100 to 160 points of damage, depending on how armoured their rear is. <clears throat> of course, with these pests, you've got to actually kill them. Ugh. I'm going to leave those out. If the Achilles battle armor dies, I really don't care. It's going to make... I could jump down here and save it, but it's going to make great bait for protecting my longbow. Landed one shot. <clears throat> That's super bad. Let's see if they chase them over there. Wow, I took a hit from a mech. A big one. Or at least a reasonable one. How big is that? Now they get to attack again. Battle armor always gets to double attack because it's always reserved to the end and it always goes first.
poor longbow is in big trouble. This guy's in big trouble though as well. He should he should uh, gain some serious heat trauma when it's his go. Oh, we got mechs over here. He's running very hot, so it'll be interesting to see what he does. I just went for a light attack to avoid overheating. That's fine. I mean, this is like this is my issues with the uh, with BTR uh, BTA playing out in real time. Only the battle armor is a threat. If the mechs are a threat, it's because the battle armor created an opportunity for them, and all of that comes comes out of the evasion meta. All right, he didn't do anything. It's interesting. I need to get up here. Ideally. That should allow me to avoid the flank. When's he going to be affected by the heat I put on him? Okay. He basically fired no weapons. <clears throat> and he took some damage. Oh, he's hitting his own battle armor. That's funny. I don't think his battle armor has a lot of health either. Funnily enough. Seeing eye. Okay. Did all of those guys die? It looks like they all died when I jumped off. Oh, there's one left. She's also got the uh, the all-seeing eye power ready.
This is the guy that's roasting. This is twisted how powerful this is. Rear armor, 35. <laughs> you ever seen a tank one shot a, a friggin' assault in the base game? Or heavy, for that matter? <laughs> This guy got rear damage. No, he's that's that's the one that's just got heat and frontal damage. Still alive? I feel like the battle armor threat is mostly dealt with because it's they're now so badly hurt. Or they're just completely wiped out. I think this one is probably still threatening. Ish. This raven always seems to fail to actually kill battle armor, but we'll try. Run, longbow, run. See if you can finish the job here. That's a little bit unfortunate. Oh, ho, 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 that's unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to run this way for safety. Your mech is on fire, which was caused by battle armor. It's like, it's not a problem that the AI gets powerful things. That is in no way an issue. How much heat does this generate? 18. That'll keep him hot. Um, it's that... You know, most of the game is... is... is dissolved by the fact that evasion is so potent out. He got me in the leg.
I'll have to peel them off next turn. No, here we go with the swarm attacks again. I'll have to move my sausage tank. Oh, the Orion got hit. <clears throat> he hardly moved, though. So yeah. Please finish the job with these. There we go. Two sets of battle armor gone. But they weren't, I mean, they weren't the truly scary ones. It's the 10 ton ones that are actually really nasty. They're nasty in the way that they ignore your defenses and they can just shove them in your face, but they don't have the same DPS as the, uh, as the incredibly potent 10 ton ones. Golem type. Oh, you're my next sausage tank victim, I think. Perfect position. Bait is taking damage. Wow, he overheated to do that. Playing a dangerous game. Okay, he's there. like the kill team special hang on before I use that I hope that that is actually a maneuverable position. One tank goes in, two assault mechs don't come out, or two heavy mechs. I don't know, I don't care. I'm not even looking at the mechs. The mechs are so little of a threat, it's actually, I. My indifference to them is comical. The fact that I'm still winning so hard, despite not looking at any of the mechs or their loadouts, or even considering them as a tactical threat in any way, is ridiculous. My only concern is shaking off this battle armor and protecting my two uh, missile boats because they are not blessed with evasion like my other units are. Although they were just gifted the perfect target to shoot at. Because he just killed his own evasion.
A wiener mobile. Right, I'm gonna pause it there because this is going on. This is a long mission, and uh, it's gonna go on for some more time. I'll think of some more things to say as well in the meantime. But I think the general gist of my frustration with BTA is out there. Um, which is, you know, as I said, it's a shame because uh, Bloody Doves has put a lot of effort into it. He's a really good bloke. And there is so much great content in BTA that it's a shame that the evasion meta and battle armor, by extension, just looms so heavy over, over it that you just reach a point where the mechs are ignorable non-threats to be just devoured. Uh, that's a real shame. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.